and to the 2012 first overall pick, Andrew Luck. Majority of his career was just out there balling. Came in rookie year, already a Pro Bowl player. Stats were nothing crazy, but he showed you, hey, look, I'm gonna be the guy. Just give me some time. 4,374 passing yards, 23 touchdowns, and 18 interceptions. And this was just right out the gate rookie year. Year after that, you go down a little bit in the passing yards, go down a little bit in the touchdowns, but there's a huge gap between the touchdowns and interceptions. So we started getting those turnovers down a lot. But then in 2014, you get that huge jump. 4,760 passing yards, 40 touchdowns league leading, and then just 16 interceptions to go with it. Year after this, big injury. But then he comes back again and shows us, hey, I'm still Andrew Luck. I'm still out here dropping big numbers. Over 4,000 passing yards and over 30 touchdowns in both the next two seasons. However, as we know, he never came back the same from the injury in 2015. And he was just getting injured after that. O-line wasn't protecting him. He didn't have the same vision at the front office. So he said, you know what? My body's more important than football. The NFL fans, media, we loved Andrew Luck. He was, again, a guy I look up to. A lot of good things about the man. Unfortunately, the career just didn't work where he was able to stay in for as long as we would have liked. But for the short time he was in the league, star player, lots of fun to watch. If he had a longer career, I have no doubt he would have fit himself in the legendary tier. But as I already said, he's going to have to be in the star tier for the fact that the career just wasn't as long as it could have been.